Hello America, Tom Hand here with Americana Corner. Today we are discussing the American assault on Quebec. On December 26th, 1775, General Richard Montgomery held a council of war with the officers of his army besieging Quebec. Colonel Benedict Arnold argued strongly that an assault on the city must be tried despite the slim chances of success. They simply could not return to America without making an effort. The plan called for Montgomery to attack Quebec's lower town from the south, while Arnold attacked from the north, cutting it off from the upper town and forcing the city to surrender. On December 31st, in a driving snowstorm, Montgomery launched the attack, but within minutes was killed by British fire. A retreat was ordered, leaving Arnold's unit on its own. While leading his assault, Arnold received a terrible leg wound which disabled him. Captain Daniel Morgan assumed command and led his Virginia riflemen over a 12-foot wall and into a nest of British soldiers. Within minutes, the Americans had captured 50 redcoats and the lower town seemed theirs for the taking. Morgan ordered the men forward, but other officers wanted to wait for Montgomery's troops unaware Montgomery was dead and his unit in retreat. Against his better judgment, Morgan paused the attack. British General Guy Carleton ordered soldiers down the hill to defend the lower town, and they arrived just as Morgan renewed his advance. Outnumbered and surrounded, Morgan and his brave men were forced to surrender. The attack had been a complete disaster with over 400 Americans captured and 30 men killed, including General Montgomery, while the British suffered only 50 casualties. Next week, we'll discuss the American retreat from Canada. Until next time, may your love of country lead you.